Ryan and I are getting ready to do some RV work today. So that sound that you hear in the background is Ryan emptying the black tank because we have to work on our toilet today. What do you need? Water pressure will be low for a minute. Because I'm flushing the tank. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm, I love you. I love you. What are you doing now? Place our water filter. I've looked at more expensive ones because we're in, we use a lot more water than typical weekender people with an RV. But these little inline ones are great for like all of our water coming in. It keeps, uh, it's not like a drinking water one. Like I guess you could and they're fine. It's more to keep like calcium deposits off of our faucets and stuff in here. Ah. And then we have a three stage one for our drinking. Yes. So it really goes through four stages. This is only a 20 micron. It's just for like the big stuff, rust and calcium deposit stuff. Just cleans the water a little bit. So our faucets stay cleaner, but yeah. I haven't replaced it in a while. So I'm going to go replace it. Hello. Hi. We have a couple of RV projects that we're gonna try and get done. We finished clearing out all of our storage unit stuff and we're getting ready to get back on the road, I guess. Right, kind of? Closer. Yeah. Getting closer. We yeah. have projects we need to do. But mm -hmm. the first one is we have been full-time in this RV for a year. Over year a half, year. And they're not necessarily built with that in mind. Yeah. And one of the things is the way the toilet's designed, it has a rubber seal that sits on top of a little thing that opens and closes, and that rubber seal went bad. So we get to dismantle our toilet and put some new rings in. We did this a year and a half ago, and I think these are better ones because they have this, this little hole in it, which our toilet needs. The last ones I ordered did not, and I cut them with a razor blade. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> They're little overflow holes. Mm -hmm. So I think I bought the right part this time. Fantastic. So, bonus. Bonus. Yeah, our toilet was sealing, and then slowly the water that stays in the bowl was leaking out. And then anybody who's been in an RV knows that that water seal is essential for keeping the porta potty smell out of the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which we only really get when it's when it's the seal is broken and our tank is almost full. Yeah. Otherwise it does. Otherwise well. it's second project is, is our shower. <laughs> yeah, we put up a uh, piece of conduit metal conduit around the front as our shower rod. And it's worked fine. It's, it's worked just great. it's starting to pull itself out of the ceiling because the ceiling is literally like 16th inch plywood on top of styrofoam and, and so there's nothing to put screws into it's really heavy yeah and it's heavy so we got one of these off of amazon we're gonna see how it does it's basically i'll show you it's got these little carrier things that are wheels and looks, little hooks that go off of it this looks so much more complicated than the thing we put in and a big roll of track and the track goes against the ceiling the little roller carrier things roll on this and it gets tacked into the ceiling and you can, it's flexible so it goes any direction. I think technically we were supposed to set this out overnight to get the roll out of it. Whoops. So, we'll Forgot see how about that, goes. that, we'll see how that goes. Our hope is that we can actually pull the curtain inside the shower because in an RV bathroom, well in, a, in an RV, space is a, at a premium. So our shower curtain gets in the way a lot of using the bathroom. So we're hoping to like pull it out of the way but also still let it be able to dry yeah so we'll see how that goes mm -hmm. first thing though toilet toilet onward oh boy <laughs> typically this is what you want the toilet to look like there's water sitting on top of this little thing typically you want water on top of that when you flush it that opens up right now there's no water coming in so it's dry that's what it looks like when the seal's bad no water sits on top of it and there should be. So, I gotta try and remember 
It's a flathead. <laughs> Almost got elbowed in the face. <laughs> you can see this toilet has a base and an upper piece. I don't know if you can see that. There's a ring right here. Yes. So this ring is a clamp and it clamps the top piece to the lower part. Top clamps the bowl to the lower. The lower has the little flap and the seal sits on top of the lower half. And so I gotta take the top bowl off, pull the old seals off, put the new ones on and then reclamp it. So it's like a hose clamp. Oh, there it goes. Oh. So it's a hose clamp and it's got plastic pieces that pop off in two halves. And that clamps the top to the bottom. Now I should just be able to lift this off. Whoa! And it comes apart. Oh, look at you go. Do you need help? Ooh. So that comes off. This goes on like that. And here's the second. See, these ones actually have a hole in the back. Make sure that that is sitting, sitting on there evenly. There we go. Push it down, yeah. It was like buckling a little. Like that. And then it goes. Oh! Yep. I know. Did you get any on you? It looks like, gosh, why are you spotless all the time? That would have gone straight down my front and somehow gotten in my face. <laughs> so that is back together. Can you hand me the screwdriver? It's up on the, I just don't want to, I don't want to put my gloves on the counter. I can wash the screwdriver. I don't want to have to sanitize the counter. <laughs> and then I just got to tighten this back up. And I got to clean up my mess. <laughs> so I think I can still, I want to spin this around the back so it doesn't catch things. We tighten it back up a little bit more. Yeah. So I get it started so it doesn't move, so it doesn't drop off anymore. And then flip it around back where I do a blind because I know it's going to more or less stay. I'll tighten it up back here. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, I'm going to go throw this away. All right. I'll come back and sanitize the area. Thank you for fixing our toilet. Side project while we wait for the track to straighten. We never finished this threshold. It's sealed, but it does not look nice. No, it does not. So Sue is cleaning it, and our plan is to use white flex tape. It's four inches, we go over the whole top of it, and it sticks like crazy. It does. This has been bugging me for a year, and I don't know why I haven't done anything about it, but I'm doing something now. Okay, I'm gonna leave you to it. You good? Yep. Yell if you need something? Yep. <laughs> Just like that. I'll know exactly what you mean. Yeah.
metal in the core. I've got metal in my core. Rah! So it is almost done. Look at it. It's so slidey. We should put one down the length so I can send you stuff from the front to I, the back. I know, that makes so great. <laughs> hot Just dog. Stick it in a basket and slide it down the hot dog zip line. <laughs> we do have extra. There's what, a lot of extra. Well, what should we do with our extra stuff? We used to have a curtain here oh, separating yeah. the bedroom from the front. So this would work for that. It's really solid once it's on. Yeah seems like it's gonna be good. But in order to finish this project, we need to go get a new shower liner so we can actually use it. But this is looking really good. Yay! Because look at it, it just makes the bathroom feel so much bigger. Other than a few minor tweaks. Like that. Done. Done. <laughs>